Hi there. I am Johan Lundell, an ordinary father of four who makes languages, writing systems, symbol systems, without words, in order to make the world a better place. And I love words. I mean, one word can make your day. But sometimes, I hate them. When I don't understand what I'm reading, when they cause misunderstandings, when they hide knowledge to me and others. For thousands of years, knowledge and information have been carried by words. Words who can be used in every area of life. Words who are the norm. But can you use words to communicate the information in blueprints, music notation, or maps? Data is usually captured by numbers, digits. They can describe all data. They are the norm. But can you use digits or tables to communicate the data as good as blueprints, music notation, and maps do? Pie charts, bar charts, radar charts are used to visualize data and knowledge. These charts are the norm in spreadsheets. But can these graphs visualize data like blueprints, music notation, and maps do? No. Words cannot do this. Digits cannot do this, and graphs cannot do this. And do you know why they can't? Because in order for you to understand and develop a complex reality, the visualization needs to resemble reality. It needs to carry huge amounts of data in the best possible way. It needs to be universal, preferably without words who keep us apart. If we would fill this entire room with musicians, musicians who can read music notation and play their instruments, they could immediately play advanced and complex music which they had never heard before. Music that never had been recorded. Music that never even had been played before. They could even develop the music with people they had never met before, without even speaking the same language. And why? Because of the music notation. So what is a notation? Well, if this symbol was a picture, you would interpret it as differently as you interpret words. But it wasn't. It is the notation with rules that give this note a defined tone height and tone length. All notations have rules how to write and interpret the symbols, rules who condense information. This is why good notations break the shackles of words. A photo of a building shows what you see. A blueprint lets you see through the walls and roof, like Superman. A satellite photo shows what you can see. An orienteering map shows what the orienteer wants or needs to understand. When pictures show what is visible, good notations always show what is relevant. If a picture is like a thousand words, a good notation is like a thousand pictures. Music notation lets you play music you have never heard before. Technical notation lets you build things you have never seen. Good notations let you do things you have never ever done before. Technical drawings, musical notation and maps are some of the greatest innovations in the history of mankind. They capture what words and numbers don't. Technical drawings have revolutionized the industry. Music notation has reformed music. And try building a skyscraper without blueprints. If you have never seen a map, words could never ever give you the understanding, the insights that you get when you see the map. Words cannot carry that amount of data to give you this understanding. And yet, 
written words are the norm of academic knowledge transfer. Words who lack this ability to carry knowledge. And that's a shame. One billion people on the earth cannot read. Five to eight percent have problems reading and writing. Yet words are the norm of knowledge transfer. Words who have to be translated to thousands of different languages where good notations don't need translation. Words who never look like reality when good notations always resemble reality. And words who carry one meaning each when good notations let symbols carry many meanings. Today I would like to challenge you who are here at TEDx Uppsala University and you who watch this later. Students and teachers, identify where texts suffocate the information in education materials. Business leaders, capture and visualize the knowledge and skills of your workers. And you who work with user interfaces, dare to try new notations who will improve a lot for the customers. Just because a skill can't be written by words doesn't mean that a skill cannot be written by better notations. Information or knowledge is not words. Complex knowledge deserves better than letters and numbers. Knowledge deserves to be shown rather than written with words. I believe new good notations will change the way we learn. To me, good notations are fantastic, inclusive languages who unify, increase accessibility, and include people with disabilities. Good notations who can be read by small children and in alphabets. Good notations who can unite experts to develop advanced processes, even if they can't speak to each other. Knowledge is power. Good notations share this power. Let's do for processes what music notation has done to music. Let's make our young generation, the last generation, who learn slowly. The world deserves better. You deserve better. Thank you very much for coming and for watching. And if you would like to see this again, you can always look twice. Thank you so much.